Hi everyone, welcome to another quick set of tutorial. This one on whether we can diagnose papillary thyroid carcinoma on FNA now that non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like features, or NIFP, has been described and has been separated from outright malignant neoplasms. The short answer, yes we can. It's important to realize that the architectural features of NIFP are those of follicular pattern lesions, as in this example, rather than the irregular sheets, papillae, and cellular swirls of papillary carcinoma, as in this example. Moreover, the nuclear features, the pallor, the irregularity, are fairly subtle, as you can see in these examples. This is why studies of the FNA diagnoses given to lesions later diagnosed as NIFP showed that most had been given an indeterminate diagnosis, AUS plus, suspicious for neoplasm, or suspicious for malignancy. Some features that allow a definitive interpretation of papillary carcinoma are multiple, typically more than three, pseudo-inclusions, of which we can see one example here, true papillae with intact fibrovascular cores, and somoma bodies, all these in the setting of other nuclear features of papillary carcinoma. It's also been suggested that multinucleated giant cells are more associated with papillary carcinoma than with NIFP, though I know of no official recommendation to use them as a criterion. Hope you enjoyed this. All the best.